Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, well, if you're on Windows 10, um, of course, Microsoft also updated the um, known issues for Windows 10. It has to do, these two problems simply have to do with the fact that Windows Update has created problems for some um, in uh, connectivity issues. Um, now, there's one that's resolved, as you see here, that was um, stated. There's another one that's confirmed the sign-in failures and other issues related to the Kerberos identification. Now, one thing that also is not popping up here from what I see, it would seem that some people are having issues. So when we go to the um, Windows updates for Patch Tuesday, it fixed a flaw that was a critical flaw for Windows for security in the uh, printer's spooler. And apparently some people are having issues in Windows 10 with their printers since the update. Now, from what I've seen, most of the time in Windows 10, what has to be done is you unplug your printer, you completely remove the printer, and then you plug it back again so it reinstalls, and apparently this fixes the problem. But um, it's funny because in the last year, they have had a few, quite a few problems with the printers and the printer issues and all sorts of fixes for printers. And every time they play with the printers, I think the changes that it actually does often probably messes up with the printer's communication system. So uh, for the most part, and almost everybody that has done the, um, you know, go to the settings, remove, re unplug the printer, first of all, if it's plugged in with USB, um, and go to the settings, and then the settings, go to find your printer, remove the printer from your computer. And then once that is done, plug it back in on the USB ports. It seems that that fixes pretty much the problem for everybody. Um, you know, it's difficult because when you make changes to some of these drivers and some of this, uh, the, uh, the hardware, um, you know, sometimes the computer and Windows needs to reinstall it so that things actually communicate again correctly. But a uh, few known issues for Windows 10, mostly due to the patch Tuesday. Uh, once again, a lot of people are, you know, that are scared of going in 22H2. It does pretty much nothing. Uh, there's really no difference in 22H2 and 21H2, pretty much. Whatever changes it does is really very um, small, and uh, basically even Microsoft doesn't really talk about it. So uh, there's really no danger there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.